Hello everyone, this is going to be a short demo of the finished loading lazy loading plugin. First thing we have to do is we have to go here and we have to install it. Finish loading lazy loading. Add plugin, search for finished loading, and pop right up and install it. Obviously, this is the testing version. You won't have that part of it. But it'll still work. The second part we have to go to is settings and then the general tab. And we have to go under General Appearances to expose the option to add an ID attribute to HTML elements. And we're going to check that box. Back on our Design tab, and we're going to create a group. And inside this group, we're going to put an image. And we'll just search for a free image here. Once it loads, and we're going to select this image and we're going to import it. And we're going to make the image keep its proportions and center that up inside our group. Now we're going to add our finished loading plugin and we're going to add that inside of our group. And we're going to name this group. First, first image. We're going to copy that. And in our finished loading, we're going to give this first image attribute to match. And then we have this pause time. Zero is default, meaning it's not going to wait any time after it is loaded to do anything. But for this purpose, we're going to give it three seconds. This is in milliseconds, so make sure to make it 3,000 for three seconds. We're going to take a text box here, and we're going to make this equal to our finished loadings, finished loading value, just so we can see what's happening. So if we load our test app and preview it, we will see everything load here. And you will notice at the bottom it is no. And after three seconds, changes to yes. So we know that this group has loaded. And we had three seconds to show the next one. And we're going to make this uh, x width so it's the same size. Now here's where it gets cool. We're going to duplicate this. Now you have to watch. We can't. Keep the same ID attribute. We're going to name this one the second image. And we're going to change this here. We're going to make this group hidden. Oops. Uh, and it's not visible in page load. And we'll collapse its height. And we'll make this one not visible, and we'll collapse its height. And we'll give ourselves a button. Name it click. So, group A is now visible. So on click, we're going to make group A visible. When we do that, we'll see this pop up. And this will start counting. And we will set a conditional state here that when group A is visible, element is visible. We'll reload this. We'll give it a shot. All right. Well, if I could spell, that would be handy. So I'm click this button. And both of them popped up and changed to yes. What we actually want is we want to make this cascade. So when group finish loading A, finish loading is yes, this element is visible. So now when we click this button, no. Three seconds changes to yes. 
Our next one is visible, it says not done loading. Yes, it's done. As you can see, you can make a whole page cascade in this manner. Now the last thing I want to do, I'm going to remove this condition on group B. I'm going to go to our workflows. We're going to go to our elements and we go here. A finished loading is finished loading. And we're going to say finished loading A. When it is finished loading, we're going to animate group B. And we'll make it flip Y in. So go back up here, refresh our page. And we click our button, wait three seconds, and it flips in, done. Yes, there you have it. Nice and simple and easy.